Hey guys. Hello. Happy <laughs> summer. Everyone's all quiet. Um, you know, it's a great day. You know, for me, I'm so excited and you know honored. I, you know, I can't thank the university for allowing me to continue to have a blast. You know, time of my life here at San Diego State, and I, you know, I, you know, I want to say thank you to J.D. Wicker and Jenny Bramer, Chuck Lang, um, that kind of put this thing together and put me in a position to kind of continue a great career at San Diego State and I'm so honored and privileged to have that opportunity and um, you know I also want to thank uh, again Tony Gwynn for allowing me to come over to San Diego State and be a part of a, a great university so I wouldn't be here if, if it wasn't for Tony and, and so I always have to make sure I give a shout out to him so um, on, a, on another note you know you just got to you know in order to be successful and we've had some success you know since I've been here at San Diego State you got to surround yourself with great people. And uh, I have two of the best assistant coaches in the country, and Joe Oliveira and Sam Peraza. Um, and, and I wouldn't be sitting here. Obviously, we, we have a lot of success because those guys do all the heavy lifting. Um, and so I'm so happy to have them on our staff, and they're doing a great job for us. But uh, it's been 14 years. This is my 14th year on the Mesa, going in my fifth year as a head coach. And um, it's been a process, you know, and, and it's really been a testament to great athletes that have come through here and, and laid down a foundation, a great culture of, of not only a, uh, athletic success, but academic success. And, and so I got to definitely thank all the players that have you know, come through here and kind of laid, laid down an unbelievable foundation of where we are today. Um, Five-year extension means, you know what, that, that San Diego State is definitely a, a commitment to you know, stabilizing the program over long haul. And hopefully it equates into an opportunity to compete for a national championship. Um, finally, I got to thank my family, uh, Jada, every time. <laughs> Jada, Marissa, and Kate, they're my, my backbone. And uh, <clears throat> gets me every time I talk about it. I just... Uh, they, they are the backbone of what I do, and, and uh, they support me in everything I do. And so um, they're not here, and I'm emotional. But uh, um, Jada and Marissa are off to um, start her uh, junior year in, in college at St. Mary's Notre Dame. Um, my son, Cade, has his first ever football game today at St. Augustine's, freshman football. Let's go, Saints. Let's go. But I uh, can't thank them enough for you know allowing me the opportunity to to do a, you know, have my dream job. And so it, it, it is here at San Diego State. So thanks, guys. Questions? Is the five-year extension help most with, say, recruiting, or, or what does it help to get that work out? I think, it, I, I think it helps in a lot of ways. It stabilizes the program, but obviously it does help in recruiting. You know, I think there's so, many, so much turnover in our game, um, you know, uh, it, currently, you know, around the country. I think it just kind of makes – it's a testament to – Stabilizing the program over the long haul, making a commitment to winning, and, and hopefully getting you know to the ultimate goal is getting to Omaha and competing for a national championship. Um, really, the next step for for our program is to to hold the people that are around me. Um, Joe and Sam are very important to this program, and you know if you look at uh, all the big time programs that are winning national championships, they are the programs that have been uh, their coaching staffs have been together for a long time. Um, Oregon State won another national championship, and that group's been together. All three of those guys have been together for over 12 years. And so um, really our next step is you know, this is a great stepping stone, and to hopefully um, that trickle-down effect will, will improve uh, uh, Joe and Sam's position as well. Mark, how much do you think your success the last few years influenced uh, J.D. Wicker and his staff to, to come extend you? Um, so someone else doesn't poach you. I'm not saying you were going anywhere else, but it's kind of a symbiotic relationship, isn't it? Absolutely. And I, you know, I think the the one thing I can tell you is that uh, first and foremost, I'm very fortunate to be part of an unbelievable athletic family. You know, and I think you know, sitting down with JD and kind of looking at that whole dynamic, it's like, okay, let's find a way to kind of keep this thing going and not disrupt a, a great thing, a great culture not only again of winning but academic su success that we have in our baseball program and when you have change it creates disruption in the program and so I think you know sitting down with him and, and talking about the future of baseball and, and where we want to go we want to kind of match that model of 
of what men's basketball is doing, uh, men's football, a lot of programs in our men's football, um, football. Um, but, uh, you know, what they're doing and, and try to match that model to continue to have great success uh, in the baseball program, and hopefully that equates to national success. So Coach, you were one of the, you kind of completed the trifecta for the college teams to make the postseason in all three major sports. So what does that mean for you to put San Diego State or be the leader of one of the San Diego State sports that puts the school on the map? Uh, it, it means a great deal. We take great pride, you know, obviously what we're doing on the baseball field. You know, I think the one thing that sounds a little bit arrogant, but we feel like there's more in the tank. You know, we have to get past the regional. You know, it uh, uh, was very disappointing into our season um, the last two games that we played. Now, the weekend before that was an unbelievable experience for our guys to win a Mountain West championship at, at our home yard and, and uh, you know, kind of carry that trophy off of Tony Gwynn Stadium was really cool. Um, but really, our next step is, is uh, b again, because we feel like we can raise the level of competition, not only in our sport, but in every sport here, to continue to kind of be that model of winning championships year in, year out. So we're very excited that, that we have another opportunity this year, and, and uh, really, I guess, for the next five years at least, I'll be a part of it. Does it make your uh, job easier knowing now that you have this extension? <clears throat> I don't know. Well, I think it comes with great responsibility. I don't know if it's easier. I think the responsibility part is that the expectations are very high in our baseball program, and and uh, we're going to raise the, those expect, expectations. And I and I think one of the reasons that um, you know signing that ex extension means that hey, it's a statement is that we want to win, um, continue to win Mountain West championships. But ultimately, the goal is here to to go compete for a national championship and. And when you do that, when you extend a contract like that, that is the expectation is that we continue to work uh, to be in the national conversation every single year. And, and so that's, that's my job as a head coach to put us in positions to win it on a national level. And, and those are the expectations that we have in our baseball program. And all the guys are spread out through the summer playing ball. Um, what does that do for them when they come back? Well, hopefully it energizes them. You know, I, I mean, I think, uh, uh, going out and play summer baseball is so important for our guys to, to kind of um, uh, refine their game. Um, also try some things out with, uh, without uh, Coach Martinez or Oliveira or Peraza around to kind of have their hand in everything they do. It kind of allows them to kind of find out who they are and how they can grow their game when they come back here and, and uh, get ready for the fall you know, season and, and, and move it into the spring. But the, the summer baseball circuit really drives our program. It's very, very important for our kids to go out and continue to get at bats or, or pile up innings as a pitcher if they didn't get very many innings last spring. So um, I'm excited to see a lot of them. In fact, uh, um, Julian Escobedo is the last guy that's playing. He's playing for Northwoods uh, Championship uh, tonight. They lost the first game last night, but uh, um, he, they did win a, a one-game playoff against Matt Ruddick up in the North, Northwoods League on Tuesday. So Julian's our last guy that's playing, and, and uh, it's been a long summer for him. So hopefully he comes back better for it. Notice there's a big building going on outside of left center field. Are you going to be commissioning any wind studies or anything to see how that's going to affect play? No wind studies, but I'm very curious to see what happens. Uh, you know, we, we either need to move the fences back or pull them in. I don't know which. Um, but if it's up to me, we'll move them in because I want to hit more home runs. But if it's up to Sam, we'll move them back. <laughs>